Hi, my name is Robin Voss. I'm a design engineer at Fritz Jurgens. We design high-end pivot door solutions with a passion for details. Our systems are hidden in the door, offering endless design possibilities and the ultimate door experience. Today, we'll be talking about installing the System M or System M Plus with a top pivot of 40 millimeters. We'll be covering all parts of this product family, the required tools, installation, fine tuning, and Q&A. This is Fritz Jurgen's System M32 Plus in combination with the 40 mm top pivot. This is a system from the System M family. We use it for single or double acting doors. Here you can see the part of the pivot hinge that is mounted on the bottom side of the door. This is the bottom pivot point. As you can see, this pivot hinge has a bracket on the side. This product allows for an opening as big as possible. Both the top pivot 40 mm and this hinge are placed on the edge of the door. On this bracket, we will eventually place a cover plate, just like this one. These screws here at the bottom are for the adjustment of the movement of the door. They're pretty much invisible unless you look very closely underneath the door. This axis here stands in the floor plate and keeps the door in place. Our system is mounted inside the door. Only the floor plate pins go eight millimeters into the floor. That's all. Every pivot hinge by Fritz Jurgens is made of premium materials. A hinge like this will last for over a million cycles, more than 136 years of daily use. This system has three extra features. We can access them by the adjustment screws I just mentioned. These slightly stick out from under the door so we can reach them easily, even after the door is mounted. The features are speed control, damper control and latch control. We'll explain them all later in this video. As this is the Fritz Jurgens top pivot 40 millimeters, it offers the largest possible net doorway. It's suitable for side placement only, a very large opening without compromising the pivot's door's movement. Every top pivot by Fritz Jurgens is made of premium materials, combined with this anodized aluminum casing, just like System M. A top pivot like this will last just as long as the hinge. The top pivot is mounted inside the top of the door, so this is the top pivot point. After mounting it, you apply this cover plate. This adjustment screw right here will turn the spindle of the top pivot into the ceiling plate. This keeps the door in place together with the axis of the pivot hinge inside the bottom of the door. After we've installed the door, we've got the freedom to slightly adjust the door's placement by using this adjustment screw. Now we can move the door slightly to one or the other side to get it perfectly straight. This is one of Fritz Jurgen's floor plates suitable for both System M and System M Plus. The floor plate is the only thing that goes into the floor with these eight millimeter pins. We can choose to go for two pins or four pins, depending on our floor type. The axis of the system fits here in the floor plate. This is what keeps the door in place. The resultant force of the door is distributed evenly across the floor. This one's made from 420 stainless steel and it's fully scratch resistant. The 300 series is not hard enough for this type of application. That's why we've chosen this hardened 400 series. Here we can see one of Fritz Jurgen's ceiling plates. It's the stainless steel version that's suitable for most top pivots. We mount the plate onto the ceiling. It guides the spindle of the top pivot into the ceiling to secure the position of the door. This ceiling plate is made from high quality stainless steel and is given a brushed finishing. On the inside, a plain bearing is mounted to guide the pin smoothly. Every pivot hinge order also contains the tools for mounting the door. Included in the box, you will first find the mounting manual. It shows us the mounting process step by step. In this case, the System M Plus adjustment card is also added. This card will guide us through the movement adjusting process of the System M Plus if we want to adjust the movement further. When installing a pivot door with the Fritz Jurgens pivot hinge system, we're going to need some tools. With the pivot hinge system, you've received various tools in the box. Additional tools that are required are a pencil, a power drill, and an appropriate size drill bit for the correct ceiling and floor material. Some items that might come in handy for the installation are some masking tape, some filling plates to measure the gap around the door, 
a small block of wood for hammering the floor plate straight, a rubber hammer, a Fritz Jürgens axle wrench, and a cross-line four-point laser. Mounting a pivot door with a Fritz Jürgens pivot hinge is always done in four steps. First, we mount the floor plate, then we mount the ceiling plate, third, we mount the door, and finally, we fine-tune the door. It is good to know that the installation process of System M and System M Plus are almost the same. The only difference is the fine-tuning of the door's movement at the end of the installation. System M Plus has two extra fine-tuning features, which we will discuss later on in the video. Today, we're installing a System M32 Plus and a top pivot 40mm in this door. Our pivot door is always located at 40 mm from the side of the door when using this system. This door is 2.6 meters tall, 1.2 meters wide and weighs about 80 kilograms. Our first step is to mount the floor plate onto the floor. We're working with one floor type, oriented strand board. We will use the square stainless steel floor plate for System M and System M+. If you have another floor type or floor plate, choose your option. It is very important to know the spacing, the gaps, around your door. Based on this, we can determine where our floor plate should be placed. In our case, the door is 40 millimeters thick and the distance from the pivot point to the edge of the door is 40 millimeters. The spacing between the door and the wall should be seven millimeters depending on your situation. Please use our online gap calculator to ensure you have the right gap sizes. We can use tape on the floor to draw the floor plate placement on. We draw a line at 47 millimeters. This is the middle of our floor plate. We calculate this by adding our gap to our pivot point. Now we add another tape for the second line and place the stencil in the middle. We use the seven millimeters filling plate to make sure it is in the right position. Then we drill the holes for the floor plate. I go for two because I have the single solid floor. We use a tape on the drill at 11 millimeters because the fitting template is three millimeters. This way, we know exactly when we have drilled eight millimeters deep. This drill has a diameter of 7.5 millimeters because this is a wooden floor. We use the cross line laser to determine the placement of the ceiling plate. We can see the exact middle of the floor plate marked on the floor. Now we add the glue to the holes we've drilled. Don't overflow the holes. Then add some glue on the bottom side of the floor plate. We've got to use a rubber hammer to put the floor plate in place. Maybe use a small block so the floor plate pins go straight down into the holes. Leave the installed pivot door in the open or closed position for 24 hours after installing to allow the glue to set. The second step is mounting the ceiling plate to the ceiling. Drill a hole of 20 millimeters deep with an 18 millimeter drill. We can use a tape on the drill to mark 20 millimeters so we know exactly when we've drilled 20 millimeters. Just a tip. Then we mark the placement of the plate on the ceiling. Now we know where to pre-drill. To make it square, we can use a cross line laser. Then we pre-drill the holes for the ceiling plate screws somewhere about 20 millimeters deep with a drill with diameter of two millimeters. We can use a tape to mark this. Then we add a layer of glue to the ceiling plate, affix the plate to the ceiling and screw the screws into the ceiling. Once again, make sure to leave the installed pivot door in the open or closed position for 24 hours after installing to allow the glue to set. It is important that the door is installed in the open position. The arrow on the spindle of the system needs to be pointed towards the latch side of the door. We can use the Fritz Jürgens axle wrench to rotate the spindle into the right position. Use a tape with a mark on it to determine the placement of the spindle. This will help to pinpoint the location when putting the door in place. 
land the spindle under the door into the floor plate. Then put the door up straight. Use the Allen key to extend the top pivot into the ceiling plate. We first have to remove the cover plate. It is now important to rotate eight times, no more or less. The door is now in place and we can move on to the final part of the installation, fine tuning the door. First, we're going to fine tune the radial position. By doing this, you can move the door slightly inside the frame or wall to make it perfectly flush. I'll show you how the mechanism works. First, unlock the floor plate by loosening all four adjustment screws. In this case, use the right screw to move the long side of the door towards us, or the left screw to pivot the door away from us. Then, tighten one adjustment screw until we feel resistance. And finally, lock the floor plate on the other three screws. The next step is fine-tuning the closing seam. If the door is slightly angled towards the left or right, we can adjust the closing seam. Do this by using a top hole at the top of the door. Rotate to the left to move the door towards us or to the right to move the door away from us. Now we can put the cover plate on the visible side of the top pivot. This is attached with a magnet. Then we fine tune the movement of the door. System M and System M Plus are both equipped with damper control. Damper control allows us to increase or decrease the opening damping. It's also called hydraulic back check and soft close. This is done with one single adjustment. System M only has one bottom adjustment screw. System M Plus has three. In this case, go for the middle adjustment screw. To increase damper control, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the right. The door will now move slower. To decrease damper control, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the left. The door will now move faster. The second fine tuning feature for the movement of the door is 30 degree speed control. This feature allows us to determine the speed of the door through the last 30 degrees of the closing movement. It's only available in System M+. To adjust 30 degree speed control, place the adjustment card on the floor with the right side up. Check the illustration with your door. In this case, we use the adjustment screw on the right. To decrease the speed of the door, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the right. To increase the speed of the door, rotate the adjustment screw slightly to the left. The final fine tuning feature of the door's movement is latch control. Latch control ensures that the door with the latching bolts properly latches. Place the adjustment card on the floor with the right side up. Check the illustration with your door. In this case, we use the screw on the left. Latch control is either turned on or off. When your system M plus is delivered, it's off by default. To turn latch control on, rotate the screw to the left around 180 degrees. To turn latch control off, rotate the screw to the right around 180 degrees. Lastly, place the cover plate on the side of the system. Congratulations, we have now successfully installed our pivot door. It is important to know the gaps around your door when you install your pivot door. This is to ensure the door is in the correct position and does not touch the wall when in use. Because the door's edges are squared and the pivoting point draws a circle, we need a gap to clear the space for rotation. We can calculate this gap by using Fritz Jürgen's gap calculator. So when you're going to mount the door, you should add this number to the pivot point from the side of the wall. If the pivot point is not located in the middle of the door, the gap will not be the same at both sides. However, to make the gaps the same width, we should always choose the largest gap. If we want to return the door's adjustments to factory settings, we should start off by closing all the adjustment screws. Now all the oil channels are fully closed. Whether that's only damper control on system M or damper control, 30 degree speed control and latch control on system M+. We do this by turning all the adjustment screws towards the tortoise until we feel slight resistance. This gives you a clean slate to work on. Then we start with 30 degree speed control. Rotate this to 90 degrees, so a quarter of a circle. Second, move one screw over to damper control. 
rotate this one to 180 degrees for system M32 or system M32+. Plus. When you've got an M42+, plus, rotate a circle and a quarter of a circle. When your door has a latch and you want to use latch control, rotate the adjustment screw 180 degrees, so half a circle. It is important to always adjust latch control at last. When our pivot point is located at more than 230 millimeters from the side of the door, the Allen key won't be able to reach the top pivot. Fritz Jurgens offers the hexagon guide in these cases. This is installed in the top of the door and guides the longer version of the Allen wrench. This is the hexagon guide. As you can see, it's fitted here in the door. We have two versions, one meter and two meters. We can also cut the hexagon guide to the desired size and use what's left on another door. If we do so, we should drill two holes in the top of the guide again to affix it. Another option would be to go for the top pivot reversed. This top pivot can be applied in both the ceiling and the top of the pivot door. This means that we are always able to access the top pivot either from the ceiling or from the top of the door. When the top layer of your floor is not solid or we're not sure if the material is suited for 8mm pins, we can always use the longer version of the pins. If needed, the 30 mm pins can be shortened with a hacksaw at the notches of the pins. If we have floor heating, we need to make sure the pins don't interfere with it. A solution is to choose for Fritz Jurgens floor plate flush. This floor plate is mortised inside the threshold, flush with the floor. This way, the drop seals don't interfere with the floor plate. Accessories such as latch, drop seals, or other moist and draft repellent details need to overcome their resistance on the way to their zero degree position, especially when there's a ceiling on the sides of the door. That's why latch control on System M Plus is a great feature to ensure the door closes properly.